Hey, I'm Andrew Gash with Audioholics. When you shop for soundbars, you got a lot of products to consider. And what you have to consider most of all is what your needs are. For many people, you're looking for a replacement to those increasingly awful TV speakers. Others, of course, will want something that matches their aesthetics, say a truly flat product that uh, is wall mountable and won't stick out beyond your new super thin flat panel. And of course, some people will want particular features. Toshiba's SBX4250 is all about the latter. It's a soundbar that retails for well under $300. It has two HDMI inputs, uh, two optical audio inputs, Bluetooth connectivity, analog inputs in both RCA and 8th inch uh, mini formats, and even a wireless subwoofer. In fact, even the remote control is pretty decent. When we opened up the packaging, we realized that aesthetics were not on the top of uh, Toshiba's list. This soundbar is pretty vanilla, if you know what I mean. It does have a pair of MTM-like speakers on the left and right of the three-foot wide bar. The enclosure is plastic. At the center is a display that reacts to the input and volume, as well as bass treble and subwoofer level adjustments from the uh, remote control. The whole unit is just 3.6 inches tall, so it's going to fit underneath pretty much any TV we've ever seen or reviewed. The sub is vertical. Uh, in orientation, it is wireless, which of course doesn't mean that you don't have to actually plug it in. You still need to give it power. Uh, they're working on wireless power. It just isn't commercial yet. They're, um, well, they're still trying to figure out how to implement that without reducing our lifespan by decades. <laughs> With Toshiba's soundbar, I quickly came to realize that there is a good fit for it. Namely, the person who doesn't have a modern television and wants or needs to feed all his sources into something else. If, however, you've got a modern TV, then sending the optical output to any soundbar will eliminate the need for anything else. The exception, of course, is if you've got your TV wall mounted and can't run additional cables to it. Bluetooth did work well, and I was able to connect my iPhone to the soundbar within about 30 seconds, began streaming music, and uh, the streaming music, I also experimented with the two SRS sound modes, and they actually both sounded better than the, the uh, default stereo. Mind you, I wasn't really looking for accuracy, just a more pleasing tone. The default stereo really sounds kind of muddy and flat. Activating SRS surround makes the tracks brighter, but it also provides some additional dynamics that aren't present in the default mode. Plus, the soundstage is considerably wider. SRS bass is the same way, but enhances more of the lower end of the spectrum with a bit more felt bass. I listened to the live concert, James Taylor, One Man Band, in stereo, and Country Road was light years better, but it lacked that naturally bright tenor that Taylor's voice exhibits on his albums and concerts. Movies like Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, and that final scene where uh, Harry takes on Voldemort, has some nice low frequency response, but the six and a half inch sub sounded like it stopped somewhere around 50 hertz. The sound sage was also rather thin, but activating SRS once again helped that considerably. So it's great that it's an included feature. Overall, there's a lot to like about the features of the SBX4250, but its average sound quality will be a potential hang-up for some. There are certainly other soundbars in this price range that compete better on just sound quality. Now, if features are your thing, then we can recommend it as it competes well on that front. Here's our question of the week. In a soundbar, what is most important to you? Aesthetics, sound quality, or features? Leave us a comment and let us know, and we also want to keep bringing you reviews like this. So subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash audioholics live. And you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash audioholics, where we post tons of industry tidbits, uh, like new products like this one, and really anything else that tickles our fancy. So go there, like us.